I will show you very high risk 25 to 50 X tokens, which I did not just find on the market, which I actually put money in. I vote with my wallet. Hi guys. So today I will show you the list of tokens that will do 25, 50 X by the end of 2024 that I actually hold. So I have a list of tokens here and we will do the exercise where we will essentially put them in different rankings. I have 100 X here, 50 X, 25 X, 3 to 5 X and all or not. I don't think that there would be any three to five x tokens here but i would in general just put bitcoin and ethereum here so the first one is vpp why i hold it is because it's gamblify narrative is being pushed by alex becker he will be mentioning it in his videos during the bull run they are in near tokyo they have a strong team they have a working product their user base is increasing and they actually generate revenue so currently if you would check it's around at five million market cap i think real market cap is quite larger but i think it's all right even with five million let us check on CoinGecko just to make sure yeah so we don't have any market uh, cap here at all but even at 26 fully diluted so I'm, I'm thinking around 50x and 100x by the end of 2024 and uh, probably higher numbers by the end of 2025 the main thing for, for this token is how much it would actually be mentioned by Alex in his videos they are inside Neo Tokyo and right as we speak tournaments like poker tournaments in real Tokyo they're being played on VPP which is huge it's 10x I think from the highs I'm almost 20x and there was no like this gamify narrative in the previous bull run so it was a bit but it, it was I would say it was mostly being pushed by Alex Becker as we can check about like even gamify tokens of this run so for example we have crown which is like at 70 million market cap and it just surged yesterday from lows at yeah it just did 50% in one day and it's quite large market cap so that, that's why I think that this project that actually showed trends in the bear market that's being developed currently they have revenue they have users they had a lot of f f famous people coming to play v vpp last cycle so conservatively i would put it at 25x from this stage but i would i would actually want to probably leave it at 50. it might go to one to 100 but yeah it's it's a different type of scenario probably when we will have like this crazy cycle and things like that hardest thing to make 50x on it is to actually hold it because there might be cases where where we will see a like strong correction in the whole market and we would essentially find this token correcting by a lot from these numbers but as you see it's 20x to the highest of previous cycle which i think we will definitely meet following all the narrative and the team is working the, the near Tokyo thing and things like that and after that yeah i think there is a chance for this as well so the second one is ghosty cash which is quite interesting so this is one of my brc 20 peaks i got to know about this token i think it's around 10 million market cap but i unfortunately i only bought in at 30 million i think it might go down but what this product actually does is it's a swap mechanism similar to uniswap but on bitcoin which is huge by itself imagine if you would be buying uniswap and at 30 million it's just crazy so i think DeFi for bitcoin is a very very bullish narrative and the narrative that a lot of institutions they're backing it up currently the things that we're seeing with stacks and alex labs and and other tokens and i think this thing have a chance to definitely be huge so they have implementation through monero as well so you can basically swap your funds anonymously and it's a closest user experience to what users are basically used to in terms of DeFi. that is on bitcoin currently because you don't have to buy like nfts this way and, and, and things like that and you can actually sell some of the tokens and not just wait for someone to buy your nft so very very nice thing i think it will go higher they have partnership with track there are some things in terms of publishing on the exchanges and things like that so i would say it would depend on how bitcoin narrative will catch up i think DeFi will be huge 50x from here is 1.5 billion market cap and um, I would want to be more conservative here so I would just put it in 25x at this stage and we will see we will definitely see and, and check it out but I think it has this gas to do to 50x because yeah just just like a uniswap on bitcoin so it's closest used experience and users will definitely be using it so the third thing is Bobo Bobo is has been tanking a bit re recently and the narrative that I have 
here is that ETH is being tanking recently, that everyone is shitting on ETH and they're saying it's like a shit coin and nothing is going to work out. And I do really like the situation currently because this reminds me of, of the summer where everyone was shitting on Solana, calling it a dead project and things like that. And we had at a 10x at least from the numbers, from the value of Solana in, in the summer. And there are some things connected with the Bitcoin ETF and probably like second ETF will be Ethereum ETF. So it would be a very, very bullish event. And I think a lot of these people, they are neglecting ETH. And it kind of makes sense that guys that have lower amount of money, they've been trading meme coins on Solana and now they probably made some funds on this already. So they are looking for different chains and we have this meta of funds essentially transferring from one chain to another and things like that. I think ETH is still keen and it will definitely not die out this cycle. And I think it's quite bullish that a lot of people are bearish on ETH currently. So the thesis that I have here is ETH will pump, Pepper will pump and Boba will eventually pump as well. So it's a very strong play from my point of view because you can only lose if ETH will go to zero, which is very low probability from my end. So as mentioned in the previous videos, I see Boba at 100x. So at 100x, it's essentially 6 billion market cap. I'm sorry, 600 million market cap from the numbers that, that we see currently. And I think actually currently it's even lower because right now if we would check i think it's a 600 million from my entry but right now it's at 2.5 my average i think it's around 0.5 so it should be around 4 million maybe and i'm thinking on 100 x from my entry so like around 400 million 500 million market cap i definitely see this happening in the bull cycle it was already doing like 30 million in market cap back in the summer i think it's a very very huge narrative and i have a high conviction that this play will eventually play out so this one of these things that I'm confident and the reason why I'm confident is because I know more information that people that, that were not in this kind of Pepe narrative and the narrative of other memes that are connected with Pepe as well and this is like the first strongest connection to Pepe when Pepe pumps these things pumps as well and obviously it out, outperforms Pepe because it has a lower market cap. The next thing is Sparta that I hold. Sparta is a DEX on Arbitrum, gamified DEX so it's kind of interesting in this way that it's quite similar to Jewel token and DeFi kingdoms, although I think on DeFi kingdoms they have a much better game implementation because part of the game implementation, it's quite simple currently. So there is nothing crazy there and they can definitely improve some things on, the, on that end. But the main narrative, the main thing, why I have uh, 3x on this token already from my entry and why I would have way more if I would just buy it one day earlier is the fact that it's also launchpad. It's launchpad on Arbitrum, which is very, very bullish. We're following narrative of launchpads that Alex Berger mentioned by himself and usually in the bull launchpad they just go crazy so it's kind of these things of launchpads that in the bear they just get devastated they go to zero but in the bull they go very very high just because of the reason that everyone is buying launchpads because they want to get access to these tokens that are launching on the market because the tokens that would be launching on the market they basically pump by a lot especially in the bull because in the bull people want to just throw the money and see them grow so currently i think in terms of parta let's check out the market cap i think it should be around 10 million at this stage 5 million here and if you would check right here because yeah coin market cap is not good with yeah so 17 million that's something that i i believe more in comparison to what we see on on, on coin market cap so 10x from here 170 million in the full bull arbitrum so it's kind of interesting that arbitrum meta is not here yet but arbitrum should definitely pump once ethereum pump so it's kind of this similar type of i do like this token a lot because there is a bunch of narratives there so DeFi. I'm sorry, DEX, which is nice when more centralized exchanges would get like under the regulations and things with, with Binance and things like that. It's a Gamify, which is a huge narrative by itself. It's similar to Jewel DeFi Kingdoms, which has done very, very well previously. It's on Arbitrum, which is a narrative by itself. And on top of that, it's also launched by. So a lot of things in this token that kind of make me like bullish in terms of, in terms of the token as well. But I do also want to be conservative. I would just put it in... 25x at this stage i think it might go higher but just to be conservative 25x i think it's it's all right in the bull by 2024 maybe 2025 we would see something more but, but right now it's at this level, level so track track is the only token that i don't have in my portfolio but i do want 
to buy it at a crazy amount, probably even more tokens that I have in Luxa, more money than I have in Luxa. It just did a 10x recently with a pretty high market cap. I think it's around 130 million. But at the same time, you know, I was buying VPP after it, it has done a 10x already. And I think with terms of this token, just because of the narrative. So the main narrative, the main reason for track is the fact that it's basically a chain link on Bitcoin. And it's just crazy because it's like a chain link on the largest liquidity blockchain, the most secured one and things like that it already has a bunch of partnerships i think that they raised 4.2 million so kind of the thesis that i have i i really do want to acquire this token it's just that in terms of my bureau seat one investments i think i've invested around forty thousand dollars in the last three weeks in ordinals in different bureau seat one tokens and that's why like i'm not buying track because i think i, st I do have exposure to the to the ecosystem and if track will pump at this stage with essentially everything will pump as well and the tokens that are on the lower market cap than track they have have a chance to outperform track as well and the fact that it's, it's done it's not done like a 10x recently because i think it like last three to four months it has done like 66x or something like this i was seeing it in one of the channels so chain link on bitcoin right at 130 million 30 billion market cap yeah so I would I would probably even put it at 100x, but to have 6.5 billion market cap in a full bull, once DeFi Bitcoin narrative we will be picked up fully by institutions, yeah, I think it's a pretty safe 50x. So it's one of these like great convention tokens that I don't have. I don't hold at this stage, but I would be looking to input like from 50,000 to 100k into this token once we see this correction, and I do want to ac accumulate it till basically the start of the run in 2024 which I think will happen in autumn, like a crazy bull run, I would want to accumulate, yeah, at least from 50 to 100k of, of this token at this stage. I'm just waiting for the correction. Maybe I'm not going to get one, but I kind of bought different tokens in BRC20, which will anyway probably provide me with exposure to, to this narrative as well. It's a very, very, and devs are great on this product. So I would probably maybe do like a separate video on this somewhere down the road as well. Next thing, so our Cardico, right? Also, it's a pure connection to Bitcoin DeFi narrative. And Bitcoin DeFi narrative is all about Alex Labs currently, which is a DEX on Bitcoin, on Stacks actually. And Stacks is a layer two on Bitcoin. So Stacks and B is being pushed by institutions currently. So they're not talking about it, but they're investing heavily. Stacks right now, I think it's a 2 billion market cap currently. And there are videos of guys working in like large institutions, financial guys saying that they really like Stacks. Alex Labs is the company that is backed by a lot of people, a lot of like employees of this company. They are ex Bank of America employees and different financial, like large financial companies in New York. So the interesting thing that I would also like to accumulate track and I would also like to accumulate Alex Labs and they're around similar market cap. And it's a nice diversification between them because if institutional narrative will kill BRC20s, then Alex Labs would just pump. If BRC20s would survive and they will pump, then track will pump. So I would want to have at least from 50,000 to 100,000 dollars in both Alex Labs and track accumulated through the course of this year. Now, why I'm talking about the Alex Labs and Arcadico is because Arcadico is a lending protocol for Bitcoin on Alex Labs on Stacks. So you can only buy it on Alex Labs at this stage. So you can only buy it on, on DEX basically. And it's it's quite interesting because it, it is what whales do. So for example, someone has 100 Bitcoin, they don't want to to like sell any of the Bitcoin, but they will try, they would want to participate in this like altcoin money as well. So what are they doing is, th is they're locking the Bitcoin on Arcadico protocol. In exchange, they are receiving the amount of stable coins, which they can essentially be trading with after that. And they basically just playing interest on the BTC, which is quite, quite nice by itself. It's definitely a huge utility. It's a DeFi on Bitcoin, DeFi on Bitcoin. Like there is no more more bullish narrative as this currently. I think it will outperform gaming essentially as well because institutions, they will not be going into gaming. They will be going into things that they understand and these are finances on the most large chain and most secure chain that we have in the world currently. So with Arcadico, it's done a lot of access recently. So that's why I only bought it like on 4K, which is quite low in terms of the average amount like of money I'm putting in each token. So fully diluted it is 9 million. I think actually market cap currently is around 10 million. As I remember something like that. So 
we see nice consolidation in last several days. I don't even want to talk too much about this project because I want to accumulate it in the first place. Like I'm just giving you straight gems here, guys. But I think the fact that it just pumped like crazy from 003 to 020. So it's 9x on the course of like three weeks, three, four weeks. Uh, so I think it will stop most of you from buying. And then we see a correction and I would buy more. So this is my thing. And I just think that DeFi Bitcoin narrative will be picked up. So it's straight 100x from my point of view. By 2024, like I would also like to have at least like 30, 40k into this token, at least at even like at, at, at this market cap. But we will see because it seems like it might be the first wave of BRC 20s and BTC narrative. I do really want for this to be just like the first phase of BTC 20s and, and BRC 20s and ordinals and things like that, because I didn't accumulate enough. Like it would be very max pain scenario for me, for myself, for these to basically, for market currently just to surge up, surge up the prices in BRC20. Yes, I will make money, but I did not accumulate enough of the tokens that I want. So it's actually like kind of like this max pain scenario in my case. And it's quite interesting because a lot of people right now, they're still not kind of in the market fully. I'm not in the market fully. I have like more than half of my portfolio in cash sitting somewhere and waiting for proper like entries and things like that. So that's quite interesting. Bells. So I was talking about Bells on one of the videos and essentially it's original blockchain of, of Dogecoin founder. So he wanted to implement it eight days before Dogecoin started. And unfortunately from my entry, it did a 4x down currently. So my 6k that I've put in already transferred to 1.5k only at this stage. So I'm not very sure about this project. The, the main issue that I have with this project is that the miners, they're mining like a lot of tokens currently. So there is a huge selling pressure in terms of this token at this stage and market cap for this type of thing i think is quite so it's not on coin market cap but it's definitely on coin gecko i remember them essentially stating things so yeah it's only only three x down guys actually very 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 nice pump in terms of 122 so the main issue i have is that constant selling pressure from the miners but it might be picked up and i was buying this thing with a narrative that we should see 48k on 40k on 48k we should see a crazy all season like blow off top things and things like that and therefore i was planning to make some money on it so i'm not sure i would probably get out of my position as fast as i can for this i need at least six dollars and interesting thing that it already was at six dollars so i could exit in terms of my initials and just so this chart doesn't show it because it's very very recent but it was even at eight dollars after i bought i was just too greedy to exit at the 2x like just exit with, with my initials so i decided to hold and, and currently i'm basically down on, on 3x so it's a nice lesson for me as well not to hold next time but at least take my initials out and let the free back moon or die basically so huge narrative founder of the dogecoin he was in the discord already they're doing a lot of development but we have mining pressure and things like that so i would say it's more all or nothing because not a lot of people they know about it but even at this stage like market cap of this thing is larger than bobo's market cap so it's just about like the conviction that i have from my end in terms of this token and, and these things as well. But yeah, we would see just that there are constantly like new tokens being added into the circulating supply. So if it will search, if more people will know about it, then obviously, yeah, I will make money on this. But currently my plan is just to take my initials out at 2x and 2x. For me to do it 2x, it should be a 6x from here, like 4x from here. So it might be a pretty nice buy for people who are watching this video. Rainy Studio. So this is my play on Beam chain i didn't catch beam and essentially in terms of how i buy tokens i i don't buy like you know these larger cup tokens that are like a hundred million so i do usually base narrative around them and i buy low caps to make sure that i will outperform these larger tokens and it's obviously more risk as well and in terms of my portfolio I want to make 25x in terms of all of my portfolio. So that's why I have these low caps and that's why I'm playing around narratives and things like that. And it's it's a very risky play, but I understand the outcomes that might happen with these things. I have cash on the side to put in and it's kind of the risk that I'm taking because without the risk, there is no profit. Rainy Studios, a gaming studio on Beam that was acquired recently. I think one of the bullish factor that obviously it was acquired, so they have more funds. There might be some things in the process, so maybe like all team members they want like new management and things like that so it's a stressful process by itself and i think after the acquiring the token like dipped by 30 to 40 percent but 
I don't think it happened because of that. I have I think it happened because Beam just dipped, and that's why ecosystem like slower token, like a smaller token in the in the ecosystem, it dipped more. So we see it was at 0025. Right now it's 0018. So it's quite a nice dip, like it's 30% dip. And obviously when like largest token in the ecosystem dips, the altcoins that are connected with this token, they're dipping even more. So Rainy Studios, you can only buy it on Beam currently, which is kind of bullish as well, because once they will be publishing on different exchanges, they will be pumping as well. And the thing that I like is they're developing casual games. I don't think that there are a lot of kind of mobile studios, mobile games in play turn in Web3 narrative that are doing casual games. And casual games, they are one of the most bullish narrative in whole mobile gaming currently because they're basically generating the most revenue. Like casual games, they're generating the most revenue from the players. So it's just crazy. And I think it's a nice pick. I'm holding it. I'm holding it following the Beam narrative. I think it's larger market cap, so it might be around like 20, 30 million at this stage. 50x from here, if Beam would surge, yeah, but yeah, this probably like something more conservative. So I might actually put it at 10x, just in 10x. So yeah, it's definitely an interesting play for me. It's a lower conviction in terms of the things that I have. Checks. So checks is also connected with this Alex Labs and Bitcoin DeFi narrative. And I think it's also AI coin, so it's been pushed by Chinese communities and not a lot of people in the West, they basically know about it. AI yield farming. So it's AI, it's on Bitcoin, it's also a meme coin. J just check out this website. Like it's crazy in terms of how Asian this looks in a good way, obviously. And yeah, I think they actually updated some things. Yeah, because previously it was looking like way different. So they have Elon Musk there and things like that. So it's quite interesting that it might seem like something, you know, like bearish, something scammy and things like that. I found this talk in one of the channel. I do only have 4K into this as well. So it's more like all or nothing play, probably from my point of view. It's, it's also has this real world assets narrative. So it's, it's a bunch of things. It's around stacks, which is layer two on Bitcoin, which is financial layer two with institutions. It's with AI, it's Yale farming. So it's DeFi and Bitcoin. It's a meme coin as well. It's a real world assets. So just like a lot of things, a lot of nice, nice things. It's also been pushed by Asian communities. And if you know, BRC20 narrative came to us from Asian communities. And there is a high chance speculation that China is already printing money, which US will probably follow if they're printing money because they would not want for guys from that country to acquire all the assets. So all or nothing, I will just be holding this. I think it's a very nice play. I think it will do some access. And as you see, I, I, I bought several tokens that are around Bitcoin DeFi narrative which is huge, which is huge by itself. And I would be looking to, I, I kind of even want to put more money at this stage to buy out like track and Alex slabs until they search. But they just pumped so much recently that I think that might be not, not, not the best thing. So Luxa, everyone knows about Luxa. If you're following my videos, like I'm doing quite a lot of updates in terms of Luxa. I think it's a layer one blockchain that is focusing on creative economy and that is focusing in terms of the improvement of the user experience. I think it's going to be huge. It's one of the, the founder of this thing is one of the original developers of Ethereum team who basically developed ERC20 standard. He has very nice like mindset in terms of how to approach tokens approach these things so they should probably be fundraising for marketing soon and marketing the the hell shit out of like youtube twitter and then things like that so looks is currently around 200 million market cap the issue that we have is that there is old Luxa, which is at 150 million million market cap as well so once they would like finally combine it might be around like 3 million uh, 300 million 30 50 million so let's just take it at 400 million 25x from here is basically 10 billion and 50x from here here is what is like 20 billion 20 billion by the end of 2024 so i would just put it at 25x at this stage i would like to be conservative it's still a very like i would say complex task to have it at 10 billion by the end of 2024 which will be very very huge i'm sure that it will pump so i'm sure that it will outperform btc and so from that point of view it's kind of a safer play in my portfolio and if they will be able to really build dApps to bring users in the ecosystem that would be just crazy and again i think OnlyFans on Luxa is one of the best things that you can build in Web3 currently. And if you want to build it, feel free to, to send me a message. Light. Light is the first ordinals on Litecoin. So not a lot of people basically know about it. So just 400 million. You can only buy it on Gate 
currently and it's being pushed heavily by Chinese community. So if you would check light, there are a bunch of Chinese guys essentially just writing messages and tweets. So they're, they're pushing it hard currently. I actually decreased my position in light and I bought a dog meme coin when I decreased my position in light. So I think it's currently around like four or five K that I have in this token. And I do also would be looking to take my initials out and then just let it fly. So I think once we would move to 48k it might surge up as well and just for the narrative of different originals on different chains and litecoin i think it's at around 80 billion market cap so i think after dogecoin it's like the largest og chain so ordinals might do well there and if we would check like first ordinals on dogecoin it's at 80 million currently if we would check first ordinals on different protocols on bitcoin like atomicos like stamps and things like that their first movers are like around 270 million so it's at 5 million currently. If we would see it at least get to 50, 60 million, that's like a safe tech 10x from here. If you would be holding it further, I think we will safely put it in 25x. And once BRC would like catch up yeah it's and it can be a 50 or 100x from here i'm just being conservative with light here because it's it's not on a lot of raiders in terms of a lot of people and, and things like that but you can also understand the logic of how i'm playing this so it's ordinals on litecoin which is quite low at this stage and there is lo a lot of logic with doji which is the first ordinals on dogecoin being like at 60 or 80 million at this stage first ordinals and first movers on different protocols of btc they at like a 200 million 270 million million so there is a narrative there that i'm following so the fact that we should see pump we should see ordinals pump we should see adoption like higher adoption because about ordinals like only crypto geeks are talking about ordinals currently like if you would check highest channels on youtube like they have max like 5k subscribers and they're getting like 800 views 1k views 2k views and videos so despite the fact that like this thing in the market like done 66x 66x on track recently like Three months ago, it was 66x lower in price. No one talks about it. But these are the things that I want to see. I like to see. I was late. I was not buying in the summer as well. I'm looking for the whole thing to correct, to go down and get large, large bags and sell them off at 2024. Phantasma. Sue. So it's one of the gaming play that I have. Why I keep this project, one of the reasons is because I had a nice entry. So I was buying it, I think, at around end of August. Their infrastructure play, they're actually connected with the narrative of DP, so different de decentralized infrastructure. I was checking out their team as well. I like the head of engineering. So it's not very, very good on the LinkedIn side because a lot of people on LinkedIn, they're like working in other companies and things like that. And essentially, I I'm just holding it because a lot of influencers, they mentioned it last cycle. Some of the influencers, they still have it on the watch list. It's still quite low market cap in terms of this thing. So I think this might run very well. So we, we see NFTs here. We have AI smart contract, coder, C sharp blockchain on chain nice i think it's nice i think it might fly 25x at the peak of gaming yeah so it would be around 600 million 750 million i think it's more like um, a more confident play i would say because it's old project they went through this is project it's not all from the last cycle they went from bear market they keep building their uh, like head of engineering is pretty nice and very knowledgeable guy so i think it's it's quite quite interesting so linda this is the meme coin that I actually bought with half of my uh, light fund. So I sold half of, like my, uh, half of my light at the loss of 15 to 20% and bought Linda. So if we check Linda, it's actually a dog meme coin. So it's a dog of uh, the founder of Linea blockchain. So there is no token of Linea currently. I don't know what the things about Linea. I'm not sure if it's even a blockchain. The thing that I saw is that you can only uh, swap it on sync swap and you can swap it with ETH. So I assume it's some type of layer two yeah it's on on zeki sync nice so uh it's zeki sync narrative all of these like listen to me all of these tokens all of these chains they will be launching their own meme tokens because they understand following the example of bonk on solana this is the easiest way the cheapest way the most efficient way to onboard a bunch of new users on your blockchain which they need in terms of you know raising funds in terms of checking out the product showing traction and things like that so 
all of them, they will be doing it. I'm buying this at 1 million market cap. I do think it's 100x. I do think it might be 100x. It's ZK Sync. This Lightning, I think they've raised like 700 million or 7 billion or something like that. So they definitely will be pumping this token. That's the dog of the founder, basically. But from one point of view, 100x from one point of view, from other point of view, it's all or nothing as well. So I'm just keeping it. I only have it at 4K. So I only bought 4K worth of it yesterday. We had some crazy buys, I think, and, cra and crazy sells. So price... Yeah, total. So here I would probably try to show my transaction as well. So no, it's not mine. It was around 4K. So yeah, I think this one is mine. So I saw it one of the chat and we're kind of following this. I, I actually saw it on the chat uh, in Bitcoin Frog. So it might be called from there if you if you, if you would want to to kind of say it this way. I think it's a huge narrative of dogs of founders. I think it's not that. I think it will be pumping harder. And the main thing for, for this to search is to like for all of this to try transfer into ETH meta. And I do think that we will be transferring to ETH meta soon because too much people, they're, sh they're just shitting on it. They don't like ETH. They say it's a dead chain. And this is the things that I like. I like non-exciting stuff because if the stuff is not exciting, there is money there. Moving forward, the last but not least, Polker. So I actually was checking out old thread on Polker in near Tokyo. So these guys, like they created thread on like 21st of November. So they were buying Polker 21st of November. Just imagine that. I was buying later, I think. They were buying 21st of November, right? Here, right here, right before the pump. So it's just crazy. The amount of access that they've, that this guy done and things like that. And this chart, it shows like 002, right? But if you, if you were following one of my previous videos, like you could see that it was doing 004 on max and I didn't take anything like I didn't take any profit I didn't take like zero I took zero profits and with 004 it was like at how much at 8x to 10x from my initial like 9 7k I think and right now it's only 20k so it's it's type of an interesting and, and the reason I'm I would still be holding it is because I don't like to sell my tokens I think that I would see larger numbers at the end of 2024. I'm not a trader. I'm not good in terms of, you know, like buying at the low and selling at the top. So I understand I will probably get wrecked if I will be doing things like that. And why I'm bullish on this project is because their team, they went for the bear market as well. So they were doing constant Amos through the bear market too. They're working on the product. They're developing the whole thing. There is working product on Epic Games and they do plan to launch Android application this month. So we basically just only have one week left for them in terms of launching this Android application, which is, you know, quite, quite interesting in terms of whether or not they will be able to do that. But anyway, like there is rumors. It's not rumors. It's something that basically their founders said on the Amman that they await for the injections from VCs and VCs, they want to exchange funds once they would see Android application up and running, so launched. So it's kind of a more risky play at this stage, I would say, because we're not sure if they would actually be able to launch this Android application application and things like that. But we will see in terms of display. I have a nice, essentially, uh, entry point. I don't have a lot of exposure in terms of Gameblify, and I think it's a great thing. I think it, it's nice as it will be moving similar to VPP as well. And despite like the status of, because there are worse things that people put money in crypto with lower like traction. There are way, 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 way worse things than just a team d delaying Android application by like several months, I'm sorry, several weeks and, and, and and, and things like that. So interesting thing that I'm sure that it will move with VPP. So this is the narrative that I'm playing around VPP because it's lower market cap. And if VPP will pump, Polker will pump as well because it's very installed logic frame in terms of people. And I think VPP will pump because it will eventually be pushed by Becker. 50x from here, just from the fact that it has lower market cap than VPP, but it's definitely a risky play. It it could be easily in all, all or nothing as well, but I would just put it at v and in, in VPP um, in 50x currently just because of the tight connection with VPP. So this is all of my place at this stage. I may have around uh, 200k invested in all of these tokens. Most of them, they are less than 30 million market cap. I would say all of them, less than 30 million market cap except Luxa and track, but I don't have any funds in track currently. So this is how I'm playing it. And with additional injections of fiat of stable coins into my portfolio, I would be looking to buy a more stable place as I thinking that I would be able to get them at the lower market caps. Things like track, things like Alex Labs, 
And yeah, I would mainly probably want to increase my exposure to BRC20 and DeFi around Bitcoin and maybe some things in terms of gaming. So if one of my things will dump like a lot, I will in the first place think whether or not I should sell it. And if I would be confident that it will search, I would I would maybe be DCA in once we would see essentially the lower market cap. So this is it. This is the video. Let me know in the comments and see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.